guys Ian here and today I'm bringing you another Cinema 4D tutorial and in this one I'm going to teach you all about the spring um, and if we look in here I've set up a basic scene which I will show you how to make and if I click play you can see we have an object dangling down here um, which I could easily change to say an A and the same thing kind of happens here uh, pretty cool and at the moment I'm just using a sweep nerve with a spline but again this could be anything, this could be chain links um, if you want it hanging from a chain or um, if you wanted to model an actual spring you could do that as well um, so this is pretty cool and I'll kind of show you how to make this basic setup so I'll make a new scene and straight away I'll go into the front view go to linear and just click somewhere at the top and somewhere in the middle then with our point selected mode go to this one and I'm just going to zero all of these out so that's in the very middle of our scene and this one I'm going to set to 0 and 300 on the Y so this is now 300 long um, and completely down the center and I'm going to press control or command A to select both points go to subdivide click on the little box next to it and type in 20 so it subdivides the spline equally along the edge now I'm just going to select the very top point right click on a spline, hair tags, spline dynamics under the properties tag go to set under fixed and now when we click play you can see uh, that point set um, the next thing we want to do is actually create our letter so I'm going to go to MoGraph, MoText, I'm going to set it to Arial Black and I, which is what I use in the example, and just make it align to the middle, and I'm just going to move it down, so I just kind of eye it up, um, so it's kind of below there, and if we want to add some caps we can, um, just a radius of 1, and this just gives us a very basic scene which I'm going to move that slightly so the um, splines actually in the center as well and then I'm just going to group um, the mo text by pressing alt, alt and G um, and then with that I'm just going to go to the spline hair tags and constraint and what we want to do is select the bottom point this time and drag in our null and click set and so now if I was to move um, this null around it will move with it which is pretty cool one thing I did forget to do um, as well is move the anchor point of this up and I'm hoping this doesn't kind of destroy the whole system which with splines it might do and we move it across yeah you can see it's mucked up a little bit and to fix that all we have to do is delete the constraint and kind of redo it a little bit so make sure it's in the middle again right click on the hair tag constraint and drag in our null and click set making sure that point selected as well and now when we click play and we drag this across nothing seems to happen because we weren't in point mode <laughs> um, so just gonna make sure again this is kind of central and go to point mode which I didn't do select the bottom point um, delete that tag constraint drag in the null and click set there we go so now when we click play and we move this around we have this moving around with it which is exactly what we want so after that little mishap we'll actually move on to the dynamics so on the null object which I'll name to text we want to right click simulation rigid body and under inherit tag click compound collision shape 
Um, so basically everything in here uh, will be treated as one shape and if we click play it falls down to the ground because it follows gravity. So finally we move on to the spring so go to simulate dynamics spring and here we want to um, before we do that even I'm just going to make a very uh, quick uh, sweep nerve on here so I'm just going to grab a circle sorry this is kind of all over the place make the radius 1 drop it into a sweep nerve with the spline in there so now we have um, the basic scene and with the spring selected object A will be the sweep nerve and object B will be the text we'll make the attachment A offset and bring the spring up and if we click play now you can see it kind of shoots up and it's all over the place I believe what we want to do is just zero that one out and go to offset for this and drag this one up instead nope we want to have probably this on about 330 and the rest length to 330 as well and you can see now it's kind of dangling in place and if we make this something like 250 it bounces up and if we make it about 400 you can see now it kind of floats around and looks pretty cool if I extend the timeline as well um, we can see it kind of dangling around for a bit longer and if you don't like how much this is rotating, you can always go into your dynamics tag, go under force and under angling, angular damping, you can just put it uh, to something a bit less and it will kind of just hang there a bit better. Um, so this is a quick and cool way to make um, some pretty interesting looking objects, which again, uh, you can change to whatever you like and it works pretty well. So I really hope you've enjoyed this very kind of quick tutorial um, to making something pretty cool. You can have loads of hanging letters this way and it's a lot of fun to do. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you soon.